Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tyler McNabb, and this is my 400EX. So today, we're gonna be focusing on this thing. Um, unfortunately, we're not doing anything too big, um, but we are still playing with the 400. So what we're doing in today's video is I am switching up um, handguard companies. So what we have here are Sykra handguards. So um, if you hadn't noticed or if you hadn't heard me say, I've been running Power Mad handguards. Um, they are great handguards, nothing against their company. Um, I just uh, prefer the look of the Sykras. And they're actually, I think they're almost actually a little bit cheaper. Originally, I thought they were more expensive, but they're actually not bad uh, priced. And so also, I was able to get them as a sponsor for the 2023 season. So I figured, you know, I might as well switch. Um, that's what's on the YFZ. Um, they just, all around, I think they just look better. You know, like I said, the power mads look good. They function, but um, I just kind of like the Cycras a little bit better. So what we have is we have the full flex bar mount system for the uh, um, for the 400 and so that's how these systems mount up they're specifically for the flex bar so I went ahead and bought that and I ordered them in red um, but they went ahead and threw black shields in so I've got some black I've got some red and then I bought some blue as well because um, I thought I'm gonna try some different shields Originally, I was planning on just doing red, but I thought blue might kind of look good as well with the blue highlights in my graphics. We will see, but I figured as well I could also throw the blue on the Yamaha, so I just bought a couple extra shields. And then also, I have some shields in that box that I'm not going to show you the color of them because they will give away next year's color scheme for the YFC. So I've already got the color scheme planned out for what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not doing any serious powder coating on this, but I am going to change up the color scheme a little bit on this, and so you guys will have to wait for future videos for that. But anyway, I will quit rambling, and we will get focused on the 400, so we will jump right into uh, getting the handguard slapped on, and then I may have a couple other things I do in this video um, as well. But let's jump right into it, and here we go.
Okay guys, well, I pretty much got them all mounted up almost, but I want you to help me make a decision. I'll try to cover this side up. Which do you guys think I should go with? Should I go with blue? Or should I go with black? Uh, I bought the red ones too, but in my opinion, the red was almost a little bit too red, especially since my plastics are a little bit faded. Um, maybe I'm being too picky, but it's I kind of like that little bit of contrast. So, because I've already got the all the red plastics, and so there's more red handguard, just a little bit too much red for me. And so I think I'm gonna go with either blue or black. I think the black personally looks better. However, the blue is just kind of different, and it's got that contrast to it. And so, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, but honestly, I think I may go with the blue for now, just because I do, I like that contrast. And then once I get my flex uh, handlebar pad on there as well, I think it'll look pretty good. So I think I'm gonna end up going with the blue. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but let's uh, get the get the black one off, mount the blue one up, and then all I got left to do is these little uh, the guards on the side. So. Let's finish it up. Okay guys, well, got the hand guards all mounted up, got the other blue shield mounted, and I think they look pretty good. They're, they're different, you know. It, it really kinda contrasts pretty good with the red, but I like that. I like stuff that sticks out a little bit, so that's what I decided to go with, and I think it looks pretty good. So, we got that. That's pretty much all there is for this. Um, not much of a super interesting video, so I'm gonna throw in just a little bit other stuff. I got a little <clears throat> care package from Fast Flex. I was lucky to pick them up as a sponsor for the 2023 season. And so I've got some new elastomers as well as uh, some bolts. Um, and then I got a bar pad, but I'm not gonna show that to you guys yet because kind of going with the hand guards that'll give away the color scheme for next year. Um, but I need to replace these. Um, as you can see, um, for some reason the previous owner had like really short bolts in there and then they had to like cut down this elastomer so it's not even a full elastomer. So I'm going to get those replaced. Plus I wanted these softer ones. These are the really stiff ones. So I'm gonna get those replaced real quick and uh, that'll probably end out the video from here. So let's get those slapped on and then uh, we'll see you after that.
Okay guys, well, I got the new bolts and elastomers in. As you can see, we got plenty of bolt coming out the side of each now, and I've got my yellow and blue elastomers in there. And so we've got ourselves a little bit of movement. You guys may not be able to see it. I can feel it though. The other ones had zero movement at all. And so, and plus they had basically had no thread in them to even loosen it. So we're good here. Hopefully that'll give <clears throat> a little bit more uh, softness to the bars and uh, we should be good there. So got that. We got the brand new hand guards on the old 400. And so she's looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for this video. I know this wasn't a super exciting video. Uh, this time of year is kind of slow because I'm just getting off a of race season. I'm not quite doing rebuild stuff yet. Oh, probably in the next month or so that kind of stuff will start um, once it gets bad enough to where we can't ride. Um, right now the weather's not terrible. It's like uh, upper 30s today. Um, it's dry though. Um, it's not muddy or anything, so it's still a uh, decent riding weather. Um, hopefully in the next video or two, I will have a pretty cool set of videos up for you. Hopefully it's be a little bit of a video series, maybe a part one and a part two. Um, I've got a pretty cool idea. Um, so, uh, stay tuned for that. I think it's going to be a good one that you guys will like. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's gonna wrap it up for this one. Uh, thank you guys for coming watching the videos I really do appreciate it. You guys got me to a thousand subscribers and we're still climbing So I really do appreciate you uh, guys coming watching the videos because like I've said a million different times without you guys It wouldn't really be worth it. So thank you guys for coming and watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one